What's up, y'all? It's Saturday. It's Saturday, September 21st. And today's title of this plan is called Facing Life's Obstacles. I'm coming to you all from Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. And they say, Tastes like candy canes at Christmas. <clears throat> now it came about after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, that the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' servant, saying, Moses, my servant is dead. Now therefore arise, cross this Jordan, you and all this people, to the land which I am giving to them, to the sons of Israel. Every place on which the sole of your foot treads, I have given it to you, just as I spoke to Moses. From the wilderness in this Lebanon, even as far as the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and as far as the great sea, toward the setting of the sun will be your territory. No man will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Just as I have been with Moses, I will be with you. I will not fail you or forsake you. Be strong and courageous, for you shall give this people possession of the land which I swore to their fathers to give them. Only be strong and be very courageous. Be careful to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, so that you may have success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will, for then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have success. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not tremble or be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Hmm. That's good. Um, the devotional text for today says, tripping. Um, as Joshua stepped into Moses' giant sized sandals, he faced a tremendous challenge, bringing the Israelites into the promised land. The responsibility was huge, and we can surmise from the Lord's repeated commands to be strong and courageous that Joshua was probably not filling up to the task. At one time or another, we all face obstacles that seem insurmountable. The question is, how will we respond? Some people try to push through or manipulate their way around the barriers, while others wallow in hopelessness and give up. But the Lord wants us to trust him to remove each impediment. Any obstacle that stands between us and God's purpose is subject to his supernatural power. Most of us will readily agree that nothing is too difficult for the Lord. But fear and worry reveal our doubts. By focusing on the problem, we allow it to grow and block our view of Almighty God. Knowing the difficulty of Joshua's assignment, the Lord assured him that he will be successful in completing the mission. God's responsibility was to remove every hindrance that stood between the Israelites and the land he had promised to give them. Joshua's job was to believe the Lord and carefully obey all his commands. Obstacles are one way that our faith can grow. When you are confused and cannot see how God could work out your situation, do not walk away in defeat and miss his blessing. He wants to teach you his way of obedience, trust, and courage. Believe him. He always keeps his promises. Lord, thank you for always keeping your promises, Jesus. Lord, thank you for waking us up this morning because somebody did not, Lord. Lord, thank you for all that you continue to do for us, Lord. Father, I ask that if we're facing any obstacles right now, Lord, I ask that we focus on you and not the obstacle, Lord, because you can do all things, Lord, in your name, Father. And if it's an obstacle that's keeping us from doing your will, Lord, then, that, Lord, we know it's already done. We know we, will, you, we, we know you will remove it, Lord, as long as we continue to trust in you, Lord, and have the faith, Father. Father, we don't want um, hazy faith. Lord, we need to have a, a solid foundation of faith, Lord, because you, you move. We move when we have the faith, Lord. You move when we have faith for big things and even small things, Lord. But 
you you show up, Lord, when we when we uh, when we um, when we show faith in whatever the situation be, Lord. We don't need doubt, Lord. We don't need fear. We don't need these these fruits of the flesh. I would say, fear and worry and temptation and and our fleshly desires. We don't want that fruit. We want fruit of the spirit. We want a patience, love, peace, Lord. Your guidance. Your we need all that, Father. Lord, I ask that you would search within us, Lord, and get rid of all of our fleshly desires and fleshly dreams that don't have anything to do with your will, Lord. Lord, we, we need desires that come from you, Lord. We need dreams and, and goals that come from you, Lord. We don't want to do anything outside of your will because millennials, we work hard, but we we about working smart. <laughs> and, I, you know, every other generation, too. We want to we wanna work smart, Lord. We don't want to do we don't want to do anything that's not in your will. It's a waste of time. So, Lord, help us to, to stay in your will, Father. Lord, I ask that you uh, help us to be strong and courageous in every situation, Lord. Help us not to worry and focus on the worrying and how this is going to get done and, and this, this, this. And not just monetary issues, Lord, but everything, Lord. Lord, help us to, um, if, we, if we've been running along hope, Lord, I ask that you replenish us with hope, Lord. Allow us to be in your word day and night as you commanded us to do, Lord. Help us to be in your word day and night, Jesus. Ooh, and help us to talk to you even more, Lord. Help us to increase our relationship with you, Lord. And not just on an ask and receive type basis, but to let you know what we're going through, Lord. To confess our sins, Lord. Forgive us for our sins, Lord. Thank you for that grace. Thank you for that mercy, Lord. Thank you for your forgiveness, Lord. Hmm. Lord, just thank you, Lord, for, um, for keeping your promises, Lord. Help us to be obedient. Help us to trust you. And help us to be courageous, in your power, Lord. Because of you, we are here, Lord. Because of your power, we can do anything that you commanded us to do, Lord. Lord, I ask that you just thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, y'all, that was today's plan. Facing life's obstacles. Um, whatever obstacles you are going through right now, I pray that the Lord reveal his power to you. I pray that he... Um, I pray that you will trust him completely. Don't let the situation um, haze up your faith. Step out on faith and ask God if this obstacle is a part of his will. And he'll make it happen. Whatever obstacle it may be, God will, God will clean it up. He will clean it up. He did it before. He did it. He did, he'll do it again. Same God. Right now, same God back there. Au revoir. God have a blessed Saturday.